I get it that we all want more power, more of an engine to play around with as speed is the thing we seek. Power is only usable on straights though, and once a road gets twisty, there is only lower weight beneficial rather than strength of the engine. It's always more enjoyable to ride a 125cc at 110% than a 1 liter superbike in a tiny fraction of its potential. Aprilia RS125 R Extrema. These 125cc superbikes from the 90s looked very very close to the originals from the GP world. The Aprilia RS125, as one of the most widely known, is amongst them with various versions built during 18 years of production. It was possible to get it as a naked RS125 Tuono, but for the maximum experience, opt for the Extrema with a distinctive fairing and rework chassis. Kajiva Mito One would not guess that the Kajiva Mito is not an adult sized bike, but rather a tiny 125cc racer. It rivaled with the Aprilia AF1 and later the RS125 with the very same power level and slightly higher weight. The Kajiva Mito can be recognized in many different stylings, for instance the Evo 1 has 3 spoke wheels and a 7 speed transmission. Honda NS125R Assembled in Italy, Honda NS125 was pretty much an Italian motorcycle, with many parts supplied by domestic manufacturers like Delorto, Marzocchi or Grimeca. It was meant to be a high-end 125cc sports bike, but could not dominate over some more powerful rivals. However, it was possible to have it in the road fund livery. Gilera CX125 The Gilera CX125 brings the 90s design at its best. Right size shows almost full solid wheels with no support, while all the brake and suspension system is placed on the left side. This unique racer is powered by a 30-ish horsepower engine with an electronically controlled power valve. Imagine riding this as a teenage to the school in 1991. Derby GPR125 Racing Currently, the GPR125 is a 4-stroke, but the original model was a 2-cycle single-cylinder sourced from the Yamaha TZR125 and DTR125 Dual Sport. There is also the Yamaha Power Valve system on the 2-stroke racing version. It was nowhere near as powerful as any of the previous, but you got a pretty modern motorcycle. Yamaha TZR125 
Don't worry Yamaha fans, Yamaha was active in the 125cc class as well, although did not provide something more special on the paper. However, it was a more rev happy engine and a very light steering which made it a more fable than let's say a rivaling Honda. Later versions can be recognized by rear drum brake and upside down front fork. Honda NSR125 Similar to the NS125R, the NSR125 was more like an Italian-built two-wheeler made of parts from renowned companies. The less powerful Honda did not even have less wide wheels, but on the flip side, it belongs on the most reliable two-stroke 125cc bikes list when kept restricted. It is necessary to point out that the second-gen JC22 Foxi is also one of the most beautiful 125cc bikes. Suzuki RG125 Basically being identical to the Thailand-produced Suzuki RG150, the bike featured a banana-shaped rear swing arm and disc brakes on both wheels. There were also NK wheels, a 6-speed kickstart transmission and a power valve activated at around 7800 rpm. The front fork could have been preloaded. Aprilia F1 125 Futura Aprilia was known for cooperation with Rotax, which resulted in a usage of some of their engines. This was the case of the Aprilia RSV1000 or Aprilia RS125, however the F1 featured a Rotax power plant as well. It was fed by a Del Orto carburetor, providing power spectrum of 29 to 34 horsepower. This was a combination of a brilliant chassis and the state-of-art two-stroke engine.